that are going wrong here. So I recently saw a movie titled The Cured. It stars Alan Page and a whole bunch of other people whose... Well, unfortunately, his names escape me right now. <laughs> but I want to say I, well, I believe it's kind of a different take on the whole zombie thing. Uh, it takes place somewhere in Ireland. And just like with most zombie movies, some kind of virus mutated and, you know, affected millions of people, turned them into zombies or zombie-like beings. Uh, and that after some time, I want to say either the local government or some private group or organization, they stumble up onto a cure. And, of course, it's never really thoroughly explained, like, how they came about, you know, finding the cure or anything. Uh, it's just some kind of injection. But pretty much, yeah, it cures. It ends up curing, like, I want to say 80% of the people that were infected by this virus, or at least close to 80%. Uh, yeah, so essentially like 70 to 80%. And then there ends up being like uh, 20 or 25% of people who who are immune to the cure, so they're not able to be cured. And those are the ones that are kept in some kind of facility. Uh, kind of like a jail, pretty much like a maximum security jail. <laughs> uh, but so those who are cured, they're then sent back to, you know, their old lives. And, um, but then it turns out that, you know, the people that are, that are cured, uh, those who are cured, Unfortunately, they can still remember. They still have very vi vivid memories of all the things they did when they were still infected. And, you know, so, yeah, then you end up having all these people who they have a lot of nightmares and they exhibit these symptoms that are, like, similar to, similar to, like, someone who has um, PTSD, you know, post-traumatic stress disorder. And... That that's you know, that's where one of the characters, he's supposed to be the brother, of Ellen Page's character, and I guess you know, it sh they show in the movie how he starts remembering, uh, how he, he pretty much he, he infected one of his friends or something, and, uh, and it ends up you know being one of the things that he constantly thinks about he can't forget it and so yeah pretty much like drives him crazy <laughs> but then uh he ends up getting a job at the facility um because that's the thing like the government they end up providing jobs for uh, a lot of the people who get cured you know that way they can try to help them essentially reintegrate back into back into society and uh oh and then also at the same time there's uh, there's a lot of people who uh oppose allowing these cured people to come back in uh into the city and uh it, it's kind of interesting because then it comes off as kind of like it reminded me of like say during the days of like segregation or um Definitely before the civil rights movement took hold, you know, because, uh, you know, in the movie, there's these large groups of people <laughs> that are protesting and holding up these signs saying, saying that, uh, you know, they don't want the cured around, you know, that's pretty much just what they call them. <laughs> so, yeah, they end up, you know, uh, there ends up being, you know, these large, large groups of people who are, pretty much, I want to say, you know, vehemently against, uh, I guess, coexisting with with these people who are now cured, but uh, who at one point, you know, feasted on human flesh and human brains. And so, 
but still, it doesn't stop them. You know, the the people who are cured, they still try to do their best to uh, get back to any kind of uh, whatever remains of their former lives, I guess. <laughs> uh, so that goes for this one character who's the brother of Ellen Page's character. And he gets a job at the facility where all the people who are immune to the cure, where they still remain. Uh, and it's interesting because then something happens where, like, even though, like, he is cured, he's no longer a zombie or zombie-like being, uh, he can be around those who aren't cured. They still kind of, like, you know, essentially he can be around zombies and they don't attack him uh, because... Something it's got something to do with the fact that the virus changed uh, his cells. Like that's what this virus supposedly did, where it changed each individual's uh, cells, so that even when they were when they were cured, uh, it's kind of like they still carry some kind of, uh, I guess, remnant of of the virus, even though you know. They're completely cured, but they still carry the virus with them here. And I guess it's supposed to be like something along the lines of like, you know, say if you have a chicken pox, you get the chicken pox once, and after that, you're pretty much immune to it. So, yeah, that's it's pretty much along the same lines <laughs> as far as, you know, this virus in this movie. And uh, so, yeah, so this guy he realizes that, and then... Plenty of other people also realize it, and and then pretty much there's kind of like this uprising, I guess, and you know, because then the cured, the cured people help set free those who can't, those who can't be cured, and uh, and that pretty much just kind of like you know becomes chaotic and. Yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to give away too much, but uh, ultimately, it was an, it's an okay movie. Uh, it starts out really interesting, and then kind of towards the middle, uh, it's just, it kind of like, the story kind of lags a little bit, but, and then it picks right back up. It gets more interesting towards the end, and... Uh, and the ending is, I feel, really not that great, but it, it makes sense, at least in some way. <laughs> uh, I mean, overall, I, I give it, uh, I'd say, I, I, I guess I'd give it 8 out of 10. <laughs> uh, 7.5 at the bare minimum, but yeah, 8 out of 10. And, just because it's an interesting concept for a movie. Um, even though, like, I do f kind of feel like they could have done a lot more with it. And I still feel like, you know, uh, they could still pick up where they left off. I don't know if, if, you know, if they were ever to make a sequel for it or some kind of prequel, possibly. I don't know. Uh, I will say, like, Ellen Page in this movie, she doesn't really give that great of a Per, that great of a performance, uh, you know, I mean, she doesn't really add, like, a whole lot to the story. Uh, I mean, her character, they could have just left her out completely, and it still would have been the same movie. The story still would have been the same, and so, <laughs> I know that's how I feel. So, yeah, once again, I give it 8, eight out of 10, uh, and that pretty much does it for this movie review. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and as always, until next time, don't forget, keep it real, keep on rocking, and peace.